When you miss car payments, you risk being sued. But do you risk multiple lawsuits? In Jones v. Morris Plan Bank of Portsmouth, the court decided whether a lender is one lawsuit too late to recover unpaid car payments. William Jones agreed to buy a car from a dealer for $595. Jones paid a part of the purchase price with a used car trade-in, the balance to be paid in 12 monthly installments. The note evidencing the debt contained an acceleration clause, which stated that the entire amount would become due at once if any installment was missed. A conditional sales contract secured the note. The dealer eventually assigned the note and the sales contract to the Morris Plan Bank of Portsmouth. As part of the contract, the bank would keep the car's title until Jones paid for the car in full. When Jones failed to pay in May and June, the bank sued to recover those two installments, and Jones paid. Then, when Jones failed to pay the July installment, the bank sued again to recover that month's amount. In response, Jones filed a plea of raised judicata, which resulted in a non-suit. The bank had finally had enough. It repossessed the car in the dead of night and sold it. Jones sued the bank for conversion to recover damages for the loss of the car. Jones claimed that when he failed to make the May and June payments, the entire amount became due under the acceleration clause in the note. So when the bank chose to collect only the two missed payments rather than the full amount, it waived its chance to collect the rest of the monthly installments. After Jones had presented his evidence, the bank filed a motion to strike the evidence from the record. The trial court granted the motion and entered judgment for the bank. Jones appealed to the Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals.